Damon and Ben from Boston. Welcome to watch us at Bob Ben. We're here at Wachusa Mountain Barbecue Fest with Al from Bucks Roadside Barbecue in Auburn. It's delicious. You guys have won People's Choice Awards a couple of years in a row. Yes, we have. How, uh, what's your secret? Hard work. My specialty is we have something called triple pie test. That's a pork tenderloin stuffed with hot sauce, and wrapped in bacon, cooked with brown sugar and apple cider. It comes with a complimentary angioplasty as well. Bucks Roadside Barbecue. Break here with Gio from M&M Ribs in Boston. Gio, what's your best product? Our ribs, our barbecue ribs. Probably why it's in the name. Yes, what's your secret? I told you what secret I had to tell you. What do people like about your ribs that you can tell us without killing? Um, cook it love, um, dry rub, our seasoning. Our flat barbecue sauce adds a little extra to it. Um, just take do a lot of care when we cook our ribs. A lot of care when they cook their ribs. They're moist, they're juicy, they're tender, and they're so good. All right, we're here at Barbecue Fest with Brian Triton from BT Smokehouse in Sturbridge, winner of the chili competition yesterday. Thank Thanks you. for coming, man. Thanks for having me. What's your secret? Low and slow. Low and slow. Now, These are our full spare ribs um, with our special rub that we put on it. A little bit of love. I think it's a lot of love. I had, that for, of love. I had that for dinner last night. My wife and son thank me very much. Yeah. Here at Wachusa Mountains Barbecue Fest with Jared, the president of the New England Barbecue Society. Mr. President, thank you so much for joining us this weekend. Pleasure to be here. And New England Barbecue Society, what do you guys do? You do competitions? Or? Yeah, we, we're involved in a lot of charity events like this for the Greg Hill Foundation. Uh, do do a lot of charity work, do a lot of education, teaching people how to, how to slow smoke barbecue. Um, it's, it's becoming much po more popular in this area than it has in previous years. We have competitions all, uh, all summer long. We, we're very involved in, in the barbecue community food enthusiasts, teaching them again about, you know, southern style barbecue. Greg here with Vito from Porky's on Cape Cod, delicious barbecue all the way up from Hyannis today. That's correct. Yeah. What's your specialty? Our specialty, we're known for our pulled pork sandwiches. Okay, and today is the People's Choice Pulled Pork Competition. Can I try a little? I think I'm going to try a little. <laughs> that is really good. Vito, thank you. Pulled pork, it's not just for breakfast anymore. All right, we're here at the Barbecue Fest with the good folks from Cuddy Hunk Oysters. You don't think of oysters when you think of barbecue, but you should, because oysters are like the perfect food, aren't they? They are. Nice change of pace. We have a little shrimp, a little chowder, fresh from the ocean. And they're all freshly shucked right here. All right, we're here at Barbecue Fest with Steve Eulis. Fireflies Barbecue in Marlboro, the man who basically brought Southern Barbecue to Central Massachusetts. What inspired you to do that? I was in Memphis for a long time and uh, I trained under the uh, king of barbecue himself, John Willingham. He mentored me over the years and I said one of these days I'm bringing it back to Massachusetts. St. Louis ribs, I would have to say, are probably my favorite out of everything. So, what exactly are St. Louis ribs? Well, they're the center cut section of the spare rib. Okay. And, you know, uh, and we use a pretty big one, you know, probably about two and three, two, almost two and three quarter pounds. And they dry rub with that special dry rub and smoked over that hickory, cherry, and apple wood, so they're pretty amazing. I'm hungry already, just listen to the description of what St. Louis ribs are. 